Hi, my name is Martin. Today, we are gonna show you how to use Tally. Today, we'll learn how to create a company, how to create ledgers in a company, creating stock units and stock items, how to enter purchases and sales in Tally. So, let's start. The first step is to create a company to start entering data in Tally. Company information, select create company, in following window fill all the information about the company. Like name of the company, Wings Education, address, Ziz, country, India, state Delhi, contact details, currency symbol, etc. After checking all details, press tab, it'll ask for accept, click on yes, so, company is created now. Now, let's create ledgers. For this, in tally window, gateway of tally, select accounts info in masters. Then select ledgers. In ledgers, single ledger is when you are creating one ledger at a time, multiple ledger, when you are creating more than one ledger at a time. Select create, so let's first create our bank account, which comes under bank account. So, in column under, we select bank account. Then, purchase account, under purchase account, sales account, under sales account. Let's suppose, we have a supplier, say DC publication supplier, so let's create supplier's account under Sundry creditor. Then, suppose a customer, say customer 1 under Sundry debtor. Then salaries, which is an indirect expense. Freight, direct expense. Electricity in direct expense. Salary outstanding current liabilities. Furniture fixed assets. Let's now see how to create stock units. Press two times escape key to go back to gateway of tally. Select inventory info in masters. Select units of measure in inventory info. Create. In symbols, write numbers. Decimal zero. If suppose, a company deals with products that can be measured in kilograms, write kilograms. In decimals, write zero. Press enter. Accept. Yes. As now we have created units of the stock, let's create stock items. To create stock items, go back to inventory info by pressing escape key, select stock items, create. Write the name of the product, example accounting book. Primary. Press Alt C to create groups. Name it as books. In units, select numbers. You can type any other information related to the items like tax, etc. Let's now learn to 
Enter purchases and purchase vouchers. For this, go back to Gateway of Tally by pressing Escape key. Select accounting vouchers in transactions. Press F9 that is purchases. Write invoice number, date of the purchase. Name of the supplier, like here DC Publications. It its purchase account. Name of the item is accounting books. Quantity for 100 at rupees 500 each. Total amount 2 lakhs. In narration, type, being purchased accounting books for 100 at rupees 500 each from DC Publications. Now, let's, enter sales in sales voucher, go back to gateway of tally, select accounting vouchers. Press F8 that is sales. Enter cash. In sales ledger, sales account. Name of the item is accounting book. Quantity, let's say, 200 for rupees 800 each. In narration being 200 books sold at rupees 800 each. Now, suppose we sold books on credit. Select customer 1. Sales ledger sales account. Name of the item, accounting book. Quantity 150 at rupees 800 each. Being 150 accounting books sold at rupees 800 each to customer 1. Thanks for watching. We hope this video was helpful. Please subscribe our channel for more accounting related videos. If any doubts, you can comment below or can post on our Facebook page.